I've had it. Um, it's been a crazy journey. Like uh, like I mentioned, the story of my life has been crazy. You know, I've been at such a young age. Um, becoming an Argentina number one was, was my dream since a very young age, from the age of 12. Um, and then everyone knows the story of Messi in the national team. Yeah, it's been a long road for him to he never won anything in the country and uh, win the Copa America, the Super Cup against Italy in England uh, and finally becoming world champions after 36 years. Um, it was my dream since day one. Uh, you know, I, I promised the Indian people that I was going to come here. Uh, yeah, hearing all the people today and cheering is it's a joy. Uh, thank you all so much for coming. This is a nice football match and this is not the end. So we come back to India, hopefully to play with Argentina and Messi. We can get to the beginning and we're going to go and win the Cup of America next. Thank you very much guys. Now we used to practice a lot in the World Cup. Um, we knew that we were going to be in a penalty shootout at some point, even in the Cup of America. So I asked the best player in the world to, to take penalties against me. And that's how I become a better goalkeeper. Saving in a messy pen, I say to myself that I can save anyone's pen. You know, you know, here people are very, very emotional about Argentina. I will wish you were here. You were not playing the Doha final in the UN in Kolkata. You would have seen the kind of excitement and passion. And a lot of Argentine supporters, after the finals, were saying, wish, wish, Emiliano Martinez was there in 1990 when Andres Brene was taking that penalty. Oh, that's, you yeah, know, I was only two years old. <laughs> no. uh, you never know, the, the stories. Um, you know, everyone got their own path, you know, people say, oh, if you were in the World Cup 2010 or before, maybe you would have won it. You never know that. I got my own story, my own path, but this is not the end. I'm, I'm looking forward to the next Cup America and the next World Cup. Do you see that clip on YouTube? Boy Kochi, I was the goalkeeper when he took that penalty and now did have lost. Did you watch this on YouTube? Yes, I have, and I met Boy Kochi here. Uh, when, I, when I won the World Cup, uh, it was, it's inspiring. It's, it inspired me as a goalkeeper, um, and I'm trying to inspire all the goalkeepers in my country and hopefully here in India uh, with the many good goalkeepers as well. Yeah. And now you can see that goalkeepers can win tournaments as well. Two more questions to go. You play mind games with the penalty shooters. It's unbelievable when you watch them on YouTube or in Doha when we watch them. Do you? Is it all scripted by you, or have you ever taken help of a psychologist? Well, I've always been good at penalties, but you know, I've got my own psychology to help me to play every game consistently. Uh, we practice some of the, the things I've done to create a little bit of chaos and a little bit of tension. You know, when, when, when you're in a World Cup final and you have to walk 50 minutes to take a penalty, you know, the legs are getting heavy. So it's so mentally, it's a mental game. I practice a lot. You were fantastic. You know, there were, they say there was Levi Asim, there was Manuel Noor, and now there is Emiliano Martinez. Yeah, it's obviously, that's, that's why I worked so many years for. But like I said, uh, I'm not relaxed. I want to become even better and win many, many tournaments for Argentina. Finally, Argentina would be defending their title in the next World Cup. And in all probability, you would be without a Lionel Messi. Is the thought scary? No, no, I'm, I'm not. I'm never scared. Yeah. Um, I take challenges with all my heart and passion. Um, we got a group of tigers in the team that we are ready to fight. 
and the group of pioneers in the team. Thank you so much, Emilio. Thank you so much. From Qatar, we love you. And many little moments are being created today. And now we would have.